So the next presentation is by uh, actually a veteran of the industry, uh, Jonathan Steckel, um, technical fellow and director of advanced technology at ST Micro. And uh, he'll be telling us about quantum dot image sensor technologies. So I will give you guys a little bit of a, a, a view into um, ST's uh, colloidal QD technology. So we're, we call it quantum film technology. Um, but it's a, a colloidal quantum dot lead sulfide based uh, image sensor technology. I'll tell you a little bit about SWIR imaging and then show you some, uh, some, some images and some picture captures that we've, been, uh, that we've been working on in terms of applications and studying how SWIR imaging can be used um, in the uh, consumer uh, market. <clears throat> so quantum, quantum dot technology, colloidal quantum dot technology is really compelling for um, image sensing. And what's, what's particularly unique is that we can process these materials in solution. We use the ligands to tune particle-particle spacing and improve um, mobility in the film. Um, but we also can use the ligands to tune the, the position uh, relative to the band gap um, or, or relative to the um, vacuum energy um, to rel change and tune um, these levels relative to the rest of the device layers in the stack. Um, and this ability to process these in solution allows us to uh, spin coat these materials um, onto wafers and, and, and use them to create devices. And it's a, a process where we grow these materials colloidally. Um, and th this conference has been focused on, on, on this uh, technology. And the really exciting thing about lead sulfide QDs is that they're, they're so well behaved when it comes to you know, colloidal synthesis. Um, so size distribution is outstanding. Um, uh, surface size and shape is outstanding as well. And we then uh, take these particles um, in volume at scale <clears throat> in large um, containers, uh, make them stable, colloidally stable um, during shipping and handling and storage and processing on uh, tools in the fab. And when we build up these films, we go through a, a proprietary process uh, introducing um, uh, different species to protect, passivate the layers during during the fabrication of, of the device, but also make the particles um, and the film ultra dense. So that's where the quantum film aspect comes into this, um, because the, now we end up with a close packed, very very dense um, colloidal uh, well, quantum dot film that makes up the active layer in the device. <clears throat> so we we spin coat on 300 millimeter wafer. Um, we use the copper electrodes. Um, that are um, providing the structure of the pixel shape and size. And uh, we then uh, complete the rest of the device with the electron and hole transport layers, the QD film, uh, encapsulation, micro lens array. And basically what that ends up giving us is a, a full structure that's uh, fully encapsulated where the, where the quantum dot film is the active layer absorbing, electron, absorbing uh, photons, creating electron hole pairs. And the thing that's really exciting about this technology is that we are able to use this technology to tune the peak to exactly where we want it. Um, but at the same time, it's a low cost technology because it's solution processed. Um, it's above IC, so we have 100% fill factor. Um, it also enables the, the, the shrink of a really complex global shutter pixel, and we've shrunk it down to 1.6 micron pixel pitch. Um, and on top of that, it's a high, high quantum efficiency uh, solution um, that can address uh, the near IR visible UV, even like silicon, um, and also the sphere. And what's, what's particularly unique is that uh, silicon can't address the sphere region of the spectrum, the short wave infrared region of the spectrum. And uh, this is a particularly strong value proposition for uh, the lead sulfide QD uh, technology. And what it also does is enables high quantum efficiency at that first absorption feature. So you can see here what that first absorption feature looks like. It's, it's a tunable first absorption feature, but you absorb light blue of the band gap. And so you can absorb into the near IR and into the visible. Um, you can see how it compares relative to, relative to silicon. Um, that cuts off very, very sharply as you move into the near infrared region of the spectrum um, and has relatively low quantum efficiency at 940. Um, and the 